welcome dear students to pnmrc e learning classes so children today we shall start with activity number 6 let's activate broca's area and practice some english at the same time work with a partner sit back to back so you can't see each other's hands you choose one animal shadow and your partner chooses the other you can see the shadows of two animals the one is goose and the other one is camel work out on your own how your hand should be to make your animal then practice your english by describing the position of your hands to your classmate you might need phrases such as my thumb is over my bend the ring finger put your left hand under your right hand If you can see your shadows you can check to see if your animal shadows match if you can't you can both try to match the position of your hands and then look to see if they match take turns describing and matching so children this activity relates to broca's area and practice some english at the same time so next move on to activity number 7 a moth with a dream It is adapted from the Moth and the Star written by James Thorber. Once upon a time a young moth fell in love with a beautiful star. He told his mother one day he would reach the star but she told him he should dream of something closer something easier like a nice lamp. Stars are in the kind of thing you should be working for she said. Lamps are the thing find a nice lamp. Moth's father said, "Yes, you can easily reach a lamp. You'll never be able to reach a star." But the moth did not listen to his mother and father. Every evening when the star came out, he would start flying towards it. Every morning he came back home worn out from flying all night. One day his father said to him, "You haven't burned a wing yet, boy." and it looks to me like you never will what's wrong with you all your brothers have burned their wings flying around street lamps all your sisters have burned their wings flying around house lamps come on now this is what we do you aren't afraid of a little burn are you the moth wasn't afraid but he didn't want to fly around street lamps or house lamps so he left his father's house he never changed his dream he grew up he continued to believe every night he went right on trying to reach the star of course this star was four and one third light years kilometers away but the moth did not know that the moth thought the star was just caught in the top branches of a tall tree the moth went right on trying night after night but he never did reach the star finally when he was very very old his mind began to play tricks as minds sometimes do he began to believe that he really had reached the star often he told stories of his adventure catching a star no one listened but he was happy anyway for his entire long life the moth believed in his dream and he lived to be a very very old moth he was happy but his mother father brothers and sisters all burned to death when they were quite young dear children the summary of the unit a moth with a dream is once a young moth fell in love with a beautiful star he told this to his parents his parents advised him that it would be easier and better to reach a lamp but the moth was adamant every morning he returned home completely exhausted after trying to fly towards the star he did not burn his wings like others of his kind nor did he forget his dream he did not know that the star was four and one third light years the moth thought that the star was just caught in the top branches of a tall tree the moth tried to reach the star night after night but never did reach the star finally when he was very very old he began to believe that he really had reached the star often he told stories of his adventure catching a star no one listened but he was happy anyway for his entire long life he believed in his dream and he lived to be very happy old moth he was happy but his mother father brothers and sisters all burned to death when they were quite young
So children, today we have completed our activity number 7. Hope you like this video. Thank you children. Stay home. Stay safe.